What's going on guys, my name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 free training series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. On a progression, it's all that I wanted to all right, here we go. Today we have cardio and abs on the agenda. Now, what does 30 for 30 mean? It just means for a 30 day period, we're coming back with a new video for you to be following free workout, body weight training, either in the house or even here at the park. Now, if we don't release it by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and you don't turn your post notifications on and you don't see it, that just means it's a rest or recovery day. Now, before we jump in, I wanna give you a few tips that you could be utilizing for not only this workout, but future workouts. So let's get started. All right, quick tip number one, take your ego out of today's workout and it will be more effective. If you need to rest a bit, during the cardio section, that's fine, especially if you have minimal conditioning. Number two, when doing any type of cardio on a field, I advise using cleats rather than shoes. You want to create traction when you are running. Number three, sprints should be completed with higher knees. Don't make the mistake of lagging your legs behind. Number four, the Low Stim Wild Blueberry pre-workout launches on April 27th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss on the mostly all natural pre, link is in the description. Number five, you should be resting at least one to two days per week. More importantly, listen to your body and know when you should take a day off. And last but not least, number six, during the ab movements, you can place your hands under your butt if it's too hard. More importantly, don't curve your low back at any time. We need it planted on the ground. All right, so first up, we have 30 yard sprints. We have five sets. Now with these 30 yard sprints, I want to remind you, the more you have your your knees high and they're not let, like your whole legs are lagging behind you, the easier the movement will be and the more power and the explosiveness and the speed you'll be able to gain not only through the first five and 10 yards, but all the way through the 30 yards. Now between each set, the rest periods kind of are, are up to you. I suggest about 30 to 45 seconds. But again, if you're more advanced, you might wanna do the 30 seconds or even a little bit less. I don't know your, your cardiovascular level, but sprints are pretty, pretty tough. Now when you're doing these sprints, you can start off two different ways. Now I have cleats on, you can either lean into it and then boom, you're out, or you can get down in a stance, in like a football stance, the three point stance here, all right, where one hand is right lined up with this toe. Here, as you can see, this other, this other foot is just your leg length, your bottom leg from your knee to your ankle away from this front foot, okay? And you're coming up here, and as you explode out, the most important thing is to try and keep your head down all the way through about 15 to 20 yards, then bring up your head and finish through the line just as fast as possible. We do not want to cut this any short. So for the 100 yard strider, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna be striding, so it's not gonna be 100%, it's more like a 75 to 80% of your actual maximal exertion, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna start off regularly, whatever I suggest, just counting out the yards all the way through, or if you can find a football field or something for yourself. If you're internationally, I'm not sure what yards is in, in meters and, and all of that, but I'm sure you can look it up on Google, absolutely no problem. All right, so Strider, watch very closely. I'm just gonna be here with my head up, okay? I wanna make sure that my chest is up, my head is up, and I'm just striding through with good arm motion all the way, okay? So it's here, boom. Really good arm motion, as you can see. My fingertips are open, I'm keeping my, my knees high, and I'm staying on the balls of my feet. I'm not planting and hitting my heels into the ground. You don't want that, okay? So that is your set. All right, so we have slight bunny hops, you can call them hops, whatever you wanna call them, it's completely fine. Uh, going straight into jumping jacks. All right, so with these hops, one thing that I wanna make sure you're doing is, right when you plant and you jump, and you plant, you wanna go and jump as quickly as possible. So it's gonna look something like this. This is just a quick example. So it's here, here, here. And as you're doing this, I want you to actually get more distance if possible. So each time you're, come, you're, you're loading, boom, exploding. Loading, exploding, loading, exploding. It's a quick, quick movement. The quicker you are off of your feet, the more efficient you're going to be through the entire movement. And we're doing about 20 or so, right? So from that positioning, our feet are gonna be just within shoulder width apart, a nice explosive position. Now we're gonna go from heel to toe. 
when we're when we're jumping on the first one, okay? So it's so it's more so actually on the ball of the foot. So it's gonna be here loading and starting off and boom, exploding. Now every single time you hit the ground, you don't want your heels to hit the ground as well. You want it to try and stay on the balls of your feet, not your toes, the balls of your feet, all right? So let me show you really quick over time how it's gonna look. Boom, 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 boom. Trying to keep your, your knees as high as possible as well. From there, we're gonna go into jumping jacks. You guys, most of you know how to do jumping jacks, okay? Keeping everything high, tall. If you wanna just do hops, that's completely fine, but you're gonna work a little bit more with the arm movement and the leg movement for this superset. All right, we're finishing off with the good old 400 yard jog. This is more of a cool down. Um, if you wanna make this a little bit quicker, that's completely fine. And if you wanna do two sets of this cardio, that's okay as well. I do suggest just one set, then going in, hitting your abs, and being good to go. Um, boy, I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. I feel good. And that's your set. <laughs> All right, so I am back indoors. I'm gonna be showing you the ab circuit. You can do this at, on the grass if you want at the park or here in the house. Um, but there's not gonna be any rest periods between each exercise. So this is gonna be one straight clip so you can see kind of which muscles are being worked, but also how to do each movement correctly. So first off, we're gonna start off with eight single leg, six inch crunches each side. Okay, so six inches just means that your feet are gonna be just above the ground right here, okay? Now look at my back right here. We don't want it to be arching as so, okay? If this, if it's like an overextension or anything like that, it's gonna cause a lot of problems. So we, what we wanna do is squeeze as much as possible and utilize your abs as much as possible. So from the six inch position, your, your head is gonna be just an inch off the ground, all right? And then all you're gonna do is bring one leg up and right back down up and right back down, okay? From there, we're gonna move into 10 second roll up hold, okay? So from this position, a roll up is very, very simple. So you have both of your hands on your quads, okay? Your chin, again, needs to be suspended back or tucked slightly, all right? From this position, you're just gonna come up and hold in this position. You don't wanna try and go and touch the front of your knee. That's not, over, that, that's not the goal of this movement. It's just to stabilize and start activating the rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, and everything that's going on here in your midsection. Then we're gonna go straight into uh, 20 roll-ups. This is really gonna work those rectus abdominis very, very well. Now with this position, you're gonna slide all the way up and come back down. Slide up, come back down. Now again, we don't wanna try and go into so much flexion, try to reach the, that's not what we're trying to do. It's gonna put a lot more strain on your neck, and of course, we don't want that, as I said at the beginning of this video, we also don't want your lower back to round, so keep everything tight, keep everything tucked, boom, and it's just, Nice up and down. Okay, from there, we're gonna move into 10 six inch leg eccentrics. Okay, so with these six inch leg eccentrics, you're gonna be in this position right here to start off, all right? If you have a problem with your lower back, maybe you wanna start a little bit lower, but you wanna maybe even put your hands under your butt. That's completely fine. The main thing here is again, making sure that our lower back is not rounding and extending here where it's not on the ground and squeezing everything in. Now, you're gonna be able to utilize your abs a lot more. Now from this positioning, all you're gonna do is tuck in your chin here, and you're gonna come down slow, eight to 10 seconds. And if you are more of a beginner and you need to do six seconds, that's completely fine. And once you're done, reset, come all the way up, and do the same exact thing with these six inch eccentrics. Remember, six inch position is always this one. That's why we call it six inch eccentric, because we're coming from uh, this position in, in a leg lift. All right, then we're gonna go into 10 six inch siders each side. So this is gonna be external obliques, internal obliques, transverse abdominis, you're stabilizing, doing a lot of different things, and, and really rectus abdominis as well. Okay, so our feet are gonna be just about shoulder width apart. If you need to make them wider so you can touch them, um, that's completely fine as well. It's not so much about touching the heels, that's just a point of reference. It's more so the movement that you're gonna be utilizing each side of yourself, okay, on in this midsection area. So tuck in your chin. Again, you can keep it six inches off, or one inch off the ground, or you can keep it on the ground for this one. Okay, I do recommend one inch off the ground just stabilizing everything. Now from this position, all you're gonna do is try and touch your heels, each side. Boom. One, 
one. So each side is gonna be one, and that's what it'll be accounted for, okay? And then we're gonna go into a 30 second plank, pretty much for your entire core. Even your erector spinae, your erector spinae is going all the way down your, uh, your, your spine, like about your spine area, okay? So there's three different muscles that are running down your spine. Uh, from this position, okay, our feet are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart. We're gonna push away as much as, as we can. Notice how I'm, not cra I'm caving in. I'm pushing away, pushing away. It's almost like my, my scapulas. So you have your two scaps are up here. They're gonna be going away from each other. This is called uh, protraction, okay? So here, protracting away and stabilizing with your abs, also squeezing with your glutes, and boom. That's gonna be your entire circuit. Uh, pretty brutal. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. That is the workout for the day. Pretty brutal, going from cardio and hitting abs thereafter. Um, multiple sets and different exercises, it's extremely fun. I really enjoy doing it as well. Uh, hopefully you're staying safe during everything that's going on and you're eating the right foods. Nutrients is so, so important when it comes to muscle growth and just being cognitively optimal, you could say. I want you to think of, of working out as just one eighth of what you should be doing in the day. You know, drinking water, communicating with people, opening up to yourself, maybe even you need to be journaling or meditating, um, eating the right foods, but also eating the right foods throughout the day. Um, th there's so many different things that I could say. I just want you to think of this as, as just a part of the, the big puzzle to live a, a more optimal life for yourself. Um, the Create You Pre Workout is coming out April 27th. Um, naturally colored, flavored, um, and a lot, like the, the product is just very high quality, 35 servings for 36 bucks. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and yeah, my Instagram is right here. If you wanna send me a DM, let me know how you feel. I also have a podcast, Create You Experience. <sighs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in for another video, 30 for 30. We're back here at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you don't miss it. If we do not post a video, it just means that it's a rest of recovery day. And this is for this 30 day period. So we're pretty far into the, into the training. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Peace.